Hey everyone, Tim Allen Milam Jr. here with Milam Asylum Alcohol. You can kind of get a glimpse here of uh, a bottle. In the light it's very amber, but it's more of a orangey color. And I'm bringing to you today my fifth Fifth, fifth bottle of this flavor, peanut butter whiskey. Now, we have Rams Point with a solid fucking nine, Revel Stoke with an 8.7, Fucking screwball with a 7.6 and a motherfucking 6.5 for PB and W. And today I am bringing to you whoosh, Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey 70 Woof. 35% alcohol. <laughs> Blending peanut butter with whiskey. We thought the idea sounded a little nutty too. It's fucking retarded. But it's high time a whiskey was bred to take the party to the next level. Grab a bottle of sheepdog peanut butter whiskey, break away from the pack, and woof down some good time. Um, so, anyways, so you can see it's a caramel color, in the light it was amber, and, uh, this is pretty fucking cool. But uh, we're going to see if this can dethrone the top dog, Ram's Point. Okay? Ram's Point, fucking nine. I mean, a Revel got an 8.7. So second place. So not far behind. But let's go ahead and... Uh, See what we got here. Okay, so I'm getting peanut butter, but I'm almost getting that toasted peanut butter that Rebel Stoke had. And I'm kind of getting more of a stronger whiskey flavor or aroma than um, than I have gotten from all of them. I think PB and W might have had that same smell, but I can't remember. It's been so long since I had PB and W. That shit was just so gross. I can just, like, here, alcoholic, take this and drink it because I won't ever touch it again so um, let's go ahead and get right down to motherfucking business shall we okay, all right here we go Pretty good. It, it it tastes like peanut butter. Um, it's got a mild whiskey burn, not a whiskey flavor. 
It's almost got a toasted, um, toasted flavor to it. Um, but not so much. Now, the best thing to do is put it up next to the second place because I'm pretty sure this doesn't beat out Rams Point. But we're going to see who's second because this isn't as good as Rams Point. <clears throat> but it's still actually pretty fucking good and I do recommend buying it. So let me go get uh, Revel and we will do a uh, comparison. Watch. Revel. Rebel Stoke. All right. I want to do side by side because this is toasted and this is a toasted. This one smells more. Yeah, I don't. It's like, yeah, it's a caramel toasted peanut butter smell. We might have a new second place champion. All right, guys. Rebel Stoke is out. It is now in third. This motherfucker is now second place, and it's coming in with a solid 8.9. So it's pretty much right there with um, Rams Point. So, yeah, 8.9. Pretty fucking good. I recommend, boom, this and Revel, Rams Point, you cannot go wrong. I mean, you can't go wrong with Revel Stoke either. But if you're going to go peanut butter, definitely go Rams Point. If you can't find Rams Point, Sheepdog. If you can't find either of those, order them or settle for Revel Stoke. Um, but... I'd like you guys to subscribe and like and share my channel. And if I can get up to 20 subscribers, I'm 18 right now, so just I need two more. I will go ahead and give this bad boy a fucking review. I'm not going to review it yet. Um, I'll tease you guys. If you want this beautiful tiger to be unleashed, um, two more subscribers. Check out that. That's fucking pretty fucking badass, huh? Right? Wouldn't be cool if they had like some little claws up on there. Be a cool fucking tattoo. Big old fucking tiger pop. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. That's a review. Eight point nine. Y'all have a good evening and fuck off.